So hey guys, back again, and now we're going to start working inside the views, so we can actually see something inside the window. So what I'm going to do is to create a new, not like this, but using HTML5. Okay, this is using a emit. So I just type HTML and use the tab key inside my keyboard and just it generates this structure so let's call it electron weather you can add a description or anything you want of course so now what I'm going to do let me just okay is to add first the link before I forget, relationship style sheet, the style sheet. Let's close that and continue. Edge reference. So I want my um, CSS file, which is inside public, and main CSS. And also, I'm going to add a type, although I think, I think this is not uh, needed in these um, new versions, but it was needed before, so let's say type text CSS. Now, we're going to add an image that, yes, let's, let's add an image right now, id equals to hero, okay, I thought I'd, hero source the source is going to be let me just copy this because it's the same but we still don't have that and I will need to get it from my um okay I know what I want to do so let's go here and this is ouch pix I think Uh, ouch picks so it was yeah yeah sure sure um i don't know which one it was i wanted to show you it should be around here okay it's taxi so i'm going to show you how to well to get these images So it was, just let me scroll down, I wasn't able to see that, it was, okay, these two penguins, okay, you can download the illustrator, the illustrator, not the illustration, but you need to unlock by using, well, the spending 20 bucks a month, okay, I don't think that this is, um, you know, there are other sites on which you can get a uh, free SVGs, but well, let's download the PNG. Okay, so downloads. I'm going to open my. Okay, just let me move this out of the way. So I'm going to open my downloads, and I already had that. Okay, so you can see here that I already have the. Autopilot, forgot about that. So let's grab this control C and add it inside so we don't need this. Just wanted to show you if you wanted to use uh, images or you know PNGs because they only allow you to use PNGs. They're, they have good images, and since it's PNG, well, of course, you don't have the ability to um, change it, but. If you like the, the images, you can add them right away. You only need to add a link to the site and that's all that they ask. Or um, what I'm going to do is to say a created by, by Ouchpix. I don't know how the fucking name is, but I'm just going to add that. So we're going to go back to public images and paste this okay so we have this we will take a look at that in a second but let's continue with this I'm going to type this all by hand 
so I'm not going to copy or paste anything for you if you are a newbie and because I will mark this also as newbies as a newbie friendly so you will have you know a much or a more easier way understanding what the hell is going on so illustration by so we are going to add a strong tag here that is going to make the text bold without adding that into the CSS. Ouch picks, something like that. And we're going to create the main window or the main section of this um, HTML. Remember that we are going to always try to use the semantic way because um, you might be thinking, oh, I can do this with divs and all that. But if you... Um, are planning to get a job and you know about this front end or just HTML and CSS and you can also get a people still want to use a, a static HTML and CSS okay so but they ask you to be a semantically correct because it's part of SEO so you will need to use these tags and also there comes a um, accessibility so you need to understand that also, maybe I will do something about that later, but right now this is not the point of any of my tutorials. So, type the name of a city. We are just adding a paragraph here. Type the name of a city to find out the weather. The weather conditions. Okay, so that's all. Let's just add some space in there. So we're going to add a form and the method of the form is going to be post. You can add it like that or you can add it like all caps. The ID, because we're going to uh, grab this using JavaScript inside our function JS. So it's going to be weather form. Now we're going to add a new input. So this is self-closing always. Um, again, you will see that I close things that usually a VS Code is not going to close, but um, is semantically correct to close all um, empty, well, not empty, but self-contained um, tags. Okay. So um, input type text. Again, also um, semantically correct. We always specify the type of the things that we're using. In this case, the input. So we tell the browser all the things that it needs to, uh, that although it already knows, um, you know, it's better for us to just add it because it doesn't cost us anything. So input name and let's say input. So this one is the so this is the first one, the input on line 21 is for the city name that is going to allow us to search by that name and the post submit that this is the ID of this input is going to be the type submit always use as input type submit when you want to submit a form don't use a fucking button okay value submit always semantically correct and we have the form there so okay so this is our form but we still need to add something we have the scripts but let's find them because it's the functions that we're going to use is inside function JS but of course that file now so let's open it's empty okay as well as the main css even though we already have them um we already have the reference inside or only html file that we're going to use so okay we can close the index.js for the although this should be called main.js okay if you change this to main.js you will need to change it inside okay this um, script that's the only thing 
So I'm going to leave it like that. So also this one is done. And we will need to start working or we will need to start adding the functionality inside these functions that is not that much. But let's first, let's, um, yeah, I'm going to add the CSS and just stop here, okay, after adding the CSS. And then we can start with the functions. So we can have the electron, the first part the html and css the second part and the third part is going to make everything work using the functions.js i think that's the best way so because as i said as i'm going to mark this as newbie friendly okay um yeah i think that's the best way so we're going to use the google fonts um source sans pro Okay, so if you want to get that, how I got that, let's take a look at Google Fonts. Okay, so we click the first one. Since it's uh, built with Google, of course, it's the first <laughs> inside the, you know, the listing. So this one is Source. Source Sans Pro, you click this, uh, they even tell you select this font and here we have two options to use the standard the link h reference and all that that we use always with angular and react or the import that is what uh, we are going to use in this case why i'm using the import because if i use the um, the link I will need to add that inside every other thing that I have, okay? That uh, has an HTML extension that I want to use the the font, okay? So I will need to add the link here, okay? And if I create an I don't know an about maybe or another um, another window, I will need to also add inside that the um, styling or the font so there is no point of doing that if we import that in the css that is uh, being used inside the rest of the application so i'm going to copy uh, and i'm going to pass through all this pretty fast so we can display that and so let's close this we actually don't need that okay so let me paste all this and we will see um here npm start so let's see how this looks you can see it looks uh, like uh, the preview so what is going on here we have the body the color of the fonts to be this RGB 616161. We're using the font family Source Pro or Source Sans Pro. Remember that if it has spacings like these ones, you need to uh, wrap it inside double quotes. If not, you can you can just say in well, let's say you download Poppins. Okay, that is a font name. You can use it like this without the um, double quotes. The font size is 20 pixels. The header has a 400 pixels a height, just to add some spacing to, um, you know, it's kind of um, around here, ending the header. The font size is 95 pixels, the line height in order to um, look kind of correct is also 95 pixels. The header P. Um, the paragraph has a padding left of, of 20% and a margin top of less 20 pixels so it can um, get a little higher. The hero, the image is a, in absolute position, the seat index is less 1 and the width is 500 pixels 
the top from the top is 6% and the right is 10%. So from the top is 6% here and the right is uh, 10%. Okay, so what? Um, you can do however you want with this. <coughs> we will be creating also landing pages and some little headers with Adobe XD and also HTML and CSS. So we'll explain in more detail this. So just copy this and you know uh, the main has a padding border of 120 pixels because I don't want this to be, I don't want all this part to be uh, you know together with the end of the window so and it's just uh, some simple things margins okay that um, I'm adding so the application doesn't look that boring and doesn't look that bad okay so that's the only thing right now of course this is not going to uh, work because we don't have the function JS which is what we're going to add so after you copy all this, the stylings, if you want, then we can continue in the next video working inside the functions.js. So see you in the next one.